4215, Los Angeles Center. Good afternoon. All right, welcome back, everybody. Vita V Flight Simulation promised you, as, as I promised you, let's come back and do another flight here. Decided to go back to San Francisco because the ATC is strong in this area, so we're just going to fly back to San Fran this time. But we're going to get uh, things Delta loaded here in the GTN 750, and we're going to get started up and head on out of here. Left heading 020, So we can go ahead and let's clear this. Let's see here. I want to store this flight plan. This one I want to delete. So we'll keep that. And... Uh, 4269, turn right. Heading uh, 090, descend and maintain 4000. Roger, 090, 4000. 4269. Uh, let's see. Is there a way to clear out everything here? Delete. Delta 355, the airport yeah. is at your uh, 10 o'clock, 6 miles, report field insight. We so we're in Las inside. Vegas. Delta 385, clear visual approach, runway 25. Clear for the visual, 25, Delta 355. We're going on the shed departure. Let's see. We'll call for clearance now. In Los Angeles Center, good afternoon, Beige at 2.32 on the ground, Las Vegas, looking to pick up IRFR to San Francisco with the weather. Jet 2.32, pre-departure clearance will be on its way. Roger. Billy Center, good afternoon, United 485 at 13,000. United 485, Los Angeles Center, good afternoon, climbing St. Blood level 380. Up to 380, United 485. Center, Mooney 951 Juliet with you, level. Hopefully, we'll level. get one niner right. Mooney 951 Juliet, Los Angeles Center, good afternoon. The uh, Los Angeles altimeter 3003. 3003, 51 Juliet. Hey, Santa, good afternoon. That's our 29551, please. There's our PDC. 7155. 2149 Los Angeles Center, good afternoon. Climb maintain level 370. Climb and maintain flight level 370. 7155. Climb via the SID, except maintain flight level 3605 minutes after departure. 3215, contact ground 13215, ready to taxi. Air shuttle uh, 4269, traffic off your uh, port wing. Uh, Opposite direction, Airbus 319 uh, at uh, westbound, 1,400 feet descending, report him in sight. Yeah, he just went behind me, but I saw him. Shuttle 4269, go ahead and make your turn, follow him in. Clear visual approach, runway 25, your number 2. Roger, we'll make the turn to follow him in, runway 2, to uh, visual 25, air shuttle 4269. Dell 355, wind 2406, runway 25, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 25, Delta 355. Oh, let's see. American 2517, contact Oakland Center 132.20, we'll see ya. 132.20, American 2517. Delta 552, contact Oakland Center 132.20. It looks good. Shuttle 4269, wind 2406, runway 25, clear to land number 2. Roger, clear to land okay. number 2. Let's see. Bring up the autopilot. Uh, LA 10, so 190. That is affirmative. Uh, let's make sure. Have a good flight. Uh, at the shed departure. Between seven and six, Roper. Nine thousand mad dog. on the ground overshot a little bit, but we made it. All right, let's do seven thousand at first. Uh, glad you were able to make it in with uh, minimal controls. If able, taxi to parking. Monitor this frequency. Don't cross uh, runway two five. Got an aircraft coming in behind you. All 
All right, let's get the uh, let's think get the show on the road. Alaska 410, you with me? Six. Let's get the beacon going. Make sure it's turned to zero. Everything else is off. Go ahead with 260 contact. Salt Lake Center 120.27. We'll see ya. Uh, let's try that again. There we go. Center Gulf Stream 4464 Papa. Yep, you can use it with the Coronado. They have a uh, they have a file that you install to make the uh, GTN work with uh, work with the plane. Gulf Stream 4464 Papa Los Angeles Center. Go ahead. We got a light up. We're a little heavy for our final cruising altitude. Can I come back down to 410? Yeah, this is the Continental Citation 550, and there's a file that you, uh, when you install the airplane, there's a file that's in the folder for the GTN 750, so it fits right here, and you just install that. It's it's when you uh, when you purchase the airplane, it's in within the folder in the aircraft folder of P3D. I'll show it to you here in just a second. Let me get the other side started real quick. They provide the bezel where the GTN 750 goes. Coronado does. Oh, let's try it again. It's not taking it. There we go. Center, Southwest 1227, flight level 360. Fuel's coming on. Here, I'll show you really quick in the folder here as it's firing up. So when you in, when you install the Coronado, you go into your sim objects, your airplanes. You find the Coronado right there, and is, and there's this little program that's already within there. You click and install it, and it puts in the GTN 750 uh, bezel. Good day, Los Angeles Center, Southwest 255. We're coming to uh, flight level 120. No, no problem. All right, let's go down to down here. We can go ahead and put the AC power that on. Right generator, left generator. Anti ice for all surfaces. For we'll go ahead and put on the taxi lights. Center, shuttle 4269, clear. Bleed air for the windshields can come on. Air conditioning's come on. We'll set the air on. This goes to auto. That looks good there. We'll set the trim for takeoff. Flaps to takeoff position. Air shuttle 42, six, uh, go ahead and taxi eastbound on Alpha Cross runways 15 right and left. The only thing that we have left is the pedo static. We'll go ahead and get rid of ground power. Taxi to parking. Let's see if I get a word in here. Good afternoon, climate maintain flight level 350. Climate maintain flight level 350, Southwest uh, 4235. And Los Angeles Center, Beijing 232 is ready to taxi. Requesting runway 19 right for departure, please. Beijing 232, uh, runway 19 uh, right, taxi via hotel Foxtrot. The altimeter 3018 information, November current. Okay, we got November 3018, hotel Foxtrot, runway 19 right, Beijing 232. Yeah, 420 on frequency. Check out the thrust reversers. American 167, Lima Air Station, Northeast, radar service terminator, frequency change approved, Denver Center offline. Switch to advisory, 122.8, have a good flight. Look good there. Man, what a beautiful day to fly in Vegas in the Bay Area. Make sure I'm not too, too loud or over, over modulated here. I don't want to blast you guys out. So 519 Los Angeles Center, good afternoon, climbing tank level 350. 350, no 519. American 167 is switching to Unicom, thank you for your ATC. Alright, we'll see ya. Loft 221, contact uh, Los Angeles Center, 133.20. 2340, thank you, Y. We're to ask you to Yep. 
Ignition, anti-collisions come on, and pedostatics coming on. Delta 6299, descend and maintain flight level 240. 240 for 6299. Hey, Beja, 232, hold short, runway 1 on the right, ready to go. Water ski 21, back in the frequency, there is no other center available. United 420, we're back with you. United 420, uh, let's send it to the roger. And the water speed to the one back on the frequency. Come on. Uh, Loft 221, uh, Clint, uh, LA Center uh, just came back over. Go ahead and switch to M133.20. Switch. Beja 232 is ready to go, 198. Beja 232 on FJ Kerr, wind calm, runway 19 right, clear for takeoff. On FJ Kerr, one, runway 19 right, clear for takeoff, Beja 232. United 420, contact Salt Lake Center 120.27, we'll see ya. Alright, I need to bring this up so I can fly this. <laughs> Salt Lake Center 120.27, thanks for the ATC. Uh, good night, uh, United 420, bye bye. Well, Sorry about that. Well, it's 2448, descend to maintain, fly level 240. I need to have it up so I can fly this. I'm going to fly this thing by hand as long as I can. Alright, here we go. Try to get lined up here. The runway looks good. 6299 contact, uh, Los Angeles Center, 133.20. 133.20, see ya. So that's 2448, Los Angeles Center, 133.20. Over to Los Angeles Center, 133.20, uh, There's 80 knots. V1, rotate. Center, Mooney 5, would you Positive like to rate, up gear's coming up. Mooney 951, Julia, that is approved. Ask request, let me know when you're back. Santa Barbara, altimeter, tree zero zero tree. Hello, turn left 32, um, 2 departure, uh, 1000. Alaska 32, uh, Los Angeles Center, good afternoon, climb and maintain 17000. Come to 17000, Los 32. And Beijing 232's out of 3600, climb and V the Sid. Beijing 232, radar contact, climb via the Sid. Climb via the Sid, Beijing 232. Gear is up, we can go ahead and turn off our landing lights. Because you won't be able to see those anyways since they're on the gear. Try to keep this right where we need it, start bringing the power back here a little bit. We don't want to over speed. And we want to try to make the restrictions here. So we're going to start making the turn here. 32, climb and maintain flight level 350. Contact Oakland, or contact the Los Angeles Center, 133.20. Try to keep it under that. And up to the other zero, on 32, thanks. Roper, try to keep it under 7,000. Just let me take a look here to see. That's what it is, I think. Yeah, Roper between seven. Next one is Mad Dog at nine. Stage at 232, climbing, tank level one. There we go. 
Non stop to 190, Bay Jet 232. Alright, we're going to start pulling the power back here a little bit. We're going to go ahead and go up to 19. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the altitude select IAS mode full throttle. And we're going to go ahead and hit nav. And we're going to go direct to Roper. Los Angeles, hello from North Carolina, Kilo Alpha, flight level 380. Flight 9, Kilo Alpha, Los Angeles Center, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. I'll just let you know that I'm on default scenery, sadly. Say again? I will just let you know that I am on default scenery at Los Angeles, 9 Kilo Alpha. Okay, not a problem. Okay, we just put it on autopilot, just coming out of 900,000 feet, and uh, just coming out of 10, you know what that means, that means lights are still going to start coming off, recognitions can come off. <coughs> and we need to try to hold about 210 on the airspeed, so I'm going to take it off of indicated airspeed here and let it climb a little faster. And we'll right there. We need to have about 210 and the 210 in the climb will work perfectly. So we make our way out of Vegas here. Uh LA Center, good afternoon, just a one, two, three, three, two, and one I will three, three, two. I thought about going to the mountainous airports, but like I said, there's a lot of ATC coverage on the west coast, so I thought I'd go back to San Francisco. That way we can keep the ATC coverage. Next thing I'd like to do is I've, I've already flown on the east coast. I've got a, a citation in Fort Lauderdale, and i like to take that and go to St. Martin with it, and then I want to do some European flying as well. So I got a couple of things I want to do here. Do some flying, check out the scenery. Oh, the GTN. <coughs> the GTN is totally worth the money. The only thing that sucks, and I'm lucky enough to get, is the nav data. They only update the nav data when they update their United trainer, and that's maybe we'll maybe once a year, or they might even do it every six to nine months, I have access to the actual nav data, which I'm blessed to have, but it's very hard to get unless you know somebody. Finbar, thanks thanks so much, buddy. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's a, it's a cool scenery. It's, it's basically just the one that comes with it. Okay, up to three six now is three six zero Bay Jet two thirty two. Okay, there's three six. Los Angeles United fourteen eighty five for our emergency aircraft. We're descending to three four zero. We have a decompression. Oh come on, guys! Don't do that on bad sim. Uh, descend to maintain one two one two twelve thousand. Yeah, and then luckily enough, I'm able okay, to uh, one, get the right updated now, nav data. And you can actually, I can show you, you can see that I've actually got 1912 already in there, which it doesn't release for another two days. Uh, where is it? Yeah, 1485, So I've got 1912 in there already. It expires December 5th, and it's effective on the 7th. And then all these other ones are pretty much up to date as well. Like I said, lucky enough, I have Actually, access to it. Victorville be better for you. Longer runway and it's to the north. You don't have but to when I do out. lose that, it'll be a sad day. <laughs> it'll be a sad day when I lose that. Back with you. Who's that? Mooney 5-1 Juliet. Yeah, uh, 9-5-1 Juliet. Roger, thank you. No, believe it or not. 
And when I got back from vacation, I ended up getting the flu, the head flu, with the, you know, the congestion, everything in the chest, the cough, and that was, how long ago was that? Three weeks, four weeks ago? I still have the damn cough. Anytime I ever get a cold or anything like that, it turns into something bigger, and usually the, the cough it at least takes a month or a little bit longer to get over. Sucks. Delta 123 cross flavor uh, 1414. Yeah, while, we're, while we were gone, where were we? Oh, when we went to the Niner game last weekend, we had the windstorm up here, and my before I left, I did the yards, and I had the backyards looking beautiful, nice, everything. I came back, leaves all over, branches all over. It was just, it took me an hour just to clean the backyard up. It sucked. Uh, looks like the dog needs to go out. Be right back. How old am I? I'm, a, I'm as old as dirt. That's how old I am. I just I just turned 50. So I, yeah, I'm I'm old as dirt. I have a daughter. It's 18, and my son's gonna be 23. Yeah, 1485. Turn right, heading zero nine zero. Zero nine zero. Right. I still feel young. Except for like, if I hurt myself or something like that, it takes a lot runway, longer to uh, heal than it, than it used to. Victor Bill, Delta 4215, Descent and Maintain, flight level 240. Delta 4215. Delta 4215, contact Los Angeles Center, 133.20. Well, I appreciate that I sound like 30. Yeah, and a lot of people say I don't sound like I'm, you know, 50. Okay. But I appreciate that. Ah, thir the age 34. I remember when I was 34 years ago. But yeah, as you get older, kilo alpha, the you notice things a lot more. For, uh, turbo jets. Do you have the Angel 4 rival on board? Can you accept? I don't know how many of you guys out there, or gals out there, are like side sleepers, but I like to sleep on my left side, and I love to put my arm underneath the pillow with my arm stretched out. Well, I've done that for so long now. Now I've messed up my shoulder really bad. And I'm afraid that I've maybe done something to the rotate, rotator cuff inside because the pain is excruciating. I can only raise my my arm up to level to my shoulder. I can't go any higher than that. And I can't reach around my back with my left arm now. It's just excruciating pain. So now i got to go see the doctor and find out. I'm afraid I've torn something because I've slept on it so long like that. I am ready. And it's hard to break that habit. So my wife keeps on yelling at me to go see the doctor. No, Delta 9 Kilo Alpha, I am ready to copy. Okay, North Atlantic uh, 9 Kilo Alpha, you're cleared present position, Hackman intersection. Angel 4 arrival, rest of flight plan unchanged. Hey, 
Director Hackman from present position and Angel 4 arrival uh, Finney, you're gonna be 61. That's nothing, man. Alpha, when they Turn say somebody's old, five, I kind of can, uh, like our generation, I kind of see okay, that old maybe would be like uh, 65 or older. I mean, people that are in their 50s and 60s right now don't even look like their 50s and 60s. 80s, yeah, 80s would, yeah, not, and if you're in your 80s, yeah, you're freaking old. And if you're in your 80s, congratulations, you've made it that long. At 1485, right turn one, nine or zero. Yeah, 1485, the airport, 12 o'clock, 8 miles, report in sight. We have the field we're established on the 17 localizer. Yeah, 1485, cleared uh, visual approach, runway 17, Victor Al altimeter, 3019 -er. And yeah, visual one yeah 1485, the wind, 3505, runway 17, clear to land. 17, clear to land, 1485. Yeah, true. Today's today's world's a lot different than what it was back in the day. Yeah, 1485. Are you, a uh, lot has changed for sure. <clears throat> yeah, 1485. Roger. Yeah, I know about uh, back problems. I had back problems. When Southwest Airlines came to San Jose back in 90... Uh, I think it was 92, 93, I was an aircraft left, refueler uh, out at San Jose Airport <coughs> for a company called Lockheed Air Terminal. And I did that pretty much right out of high school. And then when Southwest came to town, I was like, I'm hopping on that bandwagon. And I went and applied with Southwest, got a job as a ramp worker, was there for about a year, the was loading up a, uh, a 737. Usually it's it, it's a four-man team per gate. So you have two guys, you have one guy in the, in the back of the airplane with another guy in the belly, then you have another guy in the front of the airplane that's working the belt loader and the guy in the belly, so there's a total of four of us. So I was in the belly in the back throwing luggage out. The plane just arrived and I was throwing luggage. And I grabbed one bag, and as you know, working in the belly of the airplane, you're usually on your knees. So I went and grabbed this one bag, picked it up, went to th kind of throw it, slide it along the belly so it lands right on the belt loader. And right when I let go of the bag, I felt this pop in my back. And it was like a double pop, pop, pop. And I was like, oh boy, that's not good. And instantly just excruciating pain going up and down my back and I ended up having to leave work and actually had to go directly to the hospital and come to find out by doing that in that bag what it was it was full of oranges because I could smell I could smell the oranges the plane was coming back from Florida so I could smell these oranges and that's what it was loaded with and went to the doctor, had to have an, M an MRI, and come to find out I had three bulging discs in my lower back. I was out of work for two years. Uh, they didn't want to do surgery, they wanted to see if rest would heal it, and it took two years. And then I tried to go back, and I couldn't do the job, and I had to quit. So, I know about back surgery. My wife has been through four back surgeries. And now okay, she's, she's actually known by the state of California as disabled, so yeah, she's I, I all jacked up with her back. So it's crazy, man. You get older, it's not fun. Yeah, I'm picking you up. You're squawking 7361. 7361404. Okay, uh, November 404 radar contact 68 miles west of the BDVOR. 
that check from zero four. Yeah, I'm between the. In, I was about you know, here, and so maybe every now and then my back will start hurting, hurting and I can well, tell that it's my lower back that it's painful. Like right, I can't hold right, things right, for a long right, period of time, guess, like uh, heavy things. I can start to feel it. But nothing like my wife. My wife is in constant pain every single day of her life. She has to take Norco. And she has to take one to two pills a day just so she can function. She can't work anymore. And it just, it's just painful for her to do anything. It's crazy. But she's got like all kinds of nerve damage since they had to go in there three more times. So her back is just all jacked up. And we're both the same age. She turned 50 in July, I turned 50 in August. Oh yeah, for sure, for sitting all that time. Especially the guys who do long haul flights. We're coming up to 36. We'll start pulling back the power a little bit here. And our next frequency, if Oakland Center is still on, which it looks like they are still on, is 32.2. We'll throw that in here. Kilo Alpha, descend and maintain flight level 240. We'll have that in there ready to go. Send and maintain flight level 240, North Carolina, Kilo Alpha. Compensate with sports. True, true. All right, we should be getting a handoff here to Oakland Center. I don't okay, know if we've so got uh, that in there. Stepped away ahead. for a second. Uh, Lux 23. Oh, that's what you're saying. Okay, Lux 23. Hello, and I'm actually Alpha. Delta 123, we are about one minute to reach the top of the descent. Delta 123, you're given uh, Sizzler 3 arrivals. Start your descent when you're ready. Okay, Roger that. Start your descent when we're ready. Delta 123. Atlantic 9 Kilo Alpha, contact uh, Los Angeles Center now, 133.20. 
time, 27. <coughs> Excuse me. So then there, are five level uh, 270. Just one, three, three. I want to make sure, are we using one three right for the landing? Oh, you know what I wanted to see too is our two airspeed three eight. John one twenty three. I'm not sure that'll be <coughs> Procal. Make Excuse that me. decision for you. Currently, the winds are showing at one four zero at four. Prevailing runway is one three right, but yeah, this uh, is I'm all our sure flies. Biz jets down at that level. I love biz jets. They're fun to fly. Okay, Roger that. Yeah, I love going in the small airports that you can't get into. Just even going into the large airports too is fun. Uh, let's pull up our charts again here. Let's kind of zoom out of this. Let's bring up our high altitude chart. Uh, let's do 70%. Here we are here. I'll lock it on us. So we're almost at the uh, border for Oakland Center here, so we should be getting a handoff here soon. LA Center, West 13130 Heavy with you, level 380. <coughs> West Center West 13130 heavy. Uh, do you mind if I step away for two minutes? That's approved, Astro. Let me on your back. Two minutes are up. You know, I'm I might do that later on this evening. We'll see what, how it goes, maybe even tomorrow. Four, 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 six, Since the Niners are not playing four, four, until four, next six, Monday four, night. Papa, contact Salt Lake Center on one two zero point two seven. We'll see ya. So I might be doing some point controlling as well. For Gulf. Papa. I need to get some hours in. Lot 23, contact Los Angeles Center 133.20. Have a good flight in. 13320, thank you very much. Have a great rest of your weekend. Lot 23. I don't think the ident works now. It doesn't doesn't work with uh, V Pilot. Watching the shows. I forgot yeah, the NHL started already, huh? Mooney 51 Juliet Pa, the uh, Paso Robles South Cemetery 3009. 30951. Let's see, do I have. Oh, well, the weather radar really doesn't work that well on this thing. But I mean, it's okay. Let's see if I remember how to even do this thing. Let's see, let's bring it up over. Oops. <clears throat> Let's see, go weather. Make that a little bit brighter. I think it has to be in the arc mode. Then you can go to weather mode. Contact Oakland Terrain Center 132.20. Have a good flight. Florida 132.20 for FedEx 1839. Good afternoon. LA Center, United 917 with you. We'll just leave it like that. 917 Los Angeles Center. Good afternoon. Climate maintain flight level 350. Yeah, you know, uh, Matt Cherney, I saw him. Who was it? I saw him on last, was it last week? 
or the week before that, and he didn't know that Batsim uh, started the new voice thing, so he was trying to get that set up. So that's the last time I saw him. It was probably about a week and a half ago. But he was, he was on, but he didn't know that they had the new voice codec, so he was trying to get all that figured out. Yeah, he had uh, he had no clue that that happened. So. The 123 contact SoCal approach 124.5. I didn't get a chance to talk to him. I just I was kind of messaging him, letting him know if he knew about it and he didn't know about it. So he signed off and tried to get things working. I don't know if he ever did or not. We're getting pretty doggone close to the border here. Actually, and LA from uh, Beijing 232. Do you want me to still be with you, or should we go to Oakland? Uh, stay with me. I'm wait, uh, waiting for a handoff from him. Gotcha. Uh, looks like he finally did it. Okay, Beijing 232. Thanks for flying with us. Go ahead and switch to Oakland Center now. 132.20. Have a good flight. 32-2 for Beijing 232. Thanks for the ATC this afternoon. Take care. See ya. Oakland Center for the United Nations for the Vaughn Corrent at 17,000 climb in Vaughn Nine Air Zero. Yeah, 1931 Oakland Center, climb and maintain, flight level 310, final. 350 United 19 to Devon. Yeah, 1931 negative. Maintain flight level 310, 31. Uh, 390, I'm sorry. United 19 to Devon. Oakland Center, Beijing 232, level flight level 360. Beijing uh, 232, Oakland Center, Roger. Good direct lane. Direct lane, Beijing 232. Alright, direct lane intersection. Okay. Okay. Uh, and what's cool about the DGN, it'll show your flight that you're supposed to fly, and then it'll show you when you like you go direct somewhere, it'll show the flight plan that you're supposed to be on and your direct to. So that's pretty cool. I like that part. Yeah, James, wait till uh, just before Christmas, uh, they'll have a sale. That's when I bought it, uh, back when they had a sale. 
and if I remember right, you can get it for half that price. I think it was like thirty-four ninety-nine or something like that. We get closer to Christmas, they'll have sales. And the one you want to get is done by Reality XP. Flight One has their own, and then Reality XP, which is this one. I like this one a lot better than the Flight One. Because um, this one you can do either VCALC or VNAV. I like VCALC. And uh, the Flight One is only VNAV now. You can't do both. And I, this one just has more, more functionality than the Flight One's GTN 750. Even though you can buy this on flight one, you just want to make sure it's the Reality XP one. Here, I'll throw it in the chat for you. Skyrise 5991, center maintain 16000, Reno altimeter 3029. 163029, Skyrise 5991. Three arrival, FedEx Having network issues, stand by. Welcome. Local center, good afternoon. You got 1105, uh, flight level 190. So two eight right. One center, United eleven oh five, final level one hundred zero. United eleven zero five Oakland Roger. Two eighty four triple one point seven. Oh, the Flight 164? Yeah, no, I would I'd get the Reality XP, that's the one I have here. I have, like I said, I have do, I do have the Flight 1 that's in the Lear, uh, but this Reality XP one is, is a lot better.
Oh no. It went away. We want to go. What do we want to do it? Always. We're direct lane. The lane we want to be between 26 and 22. Let's call it 2-4. 10 minutes. Good afternoon, Southwest 56, 48 at Oakland, clearance to San Diego. Let's call it Oakland, approach 13395, and uh, Bidget 232, Oakland, radio check. Bidget 232, 5x5. Five five. Thanks. Yep. No, it works. It works with. Uh, it works with them too. Just for. I just have that one over on uh, the Learjet. Oakland Center Delta forty seven zero four with you is three four zero. Delta forty seven zero four Oakland Center ready. United two thousand eight to send via the. I just like I'm having right. both. Um, with that one, I kind of go by what the V nav says on the Lear, and then this one I can just figure out via the V calc. It's just easier with the citation with the V calc. I don't know. I'm a nerd like that. I had the flight one first, and then I found out about the Reality XP one, and I got that. People were raving about the Reality XP one. I was like, maybe I should get that one instead. Calling at 340, say again. Delta 4704, 340. Delta 4704, Lieutenant Roger. Uh, other aircraft calling unanswered, say again. American 89er Golf, visual flight of 320. American 89 er Golf, Oakland Center, descend via the Surfer 3 arrival. Descend via the Surfer 3 arrival, uh, American 89 er Golf. Alaska 1928, contact Los Angeles Center 132.15. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, one, three, two, so point much one, ATC still on. Salt Lake's gone, though. Titan 4106, so Hunter, climb 18, follow up 390. You guys an idea where we're at here. We're already on the arrival. Where we're direct to lane intersection. We'll cross lane between 26 and 24, and then our next one will be flows bef between 14 and 19. Seats between 10 and 12. Freely at 8, 7 at Archie. And uh, looking for the visual in the San Fran.
lot of uh, simmers on Twitch today due to the uh, world flight coming up. I thought about doing that, but it just becomes such a cluster with so many people. And then the delays and waiting and everything, it's just, uh, it's irritating. Looks like we got a plane out here. Let's see where he's at. Let's move this out of the way. He's probably too far away for me to see. Uh-oh. Oakland's gone again. And I'm going to have to make a descent soon here. About four minutes. So if he's not back in four minutes, I'm going to have to go ahead and start my descent. Yeah, but it looks like there's a lot of people on here flying today. Where's that traffic? I mean, to me it looks like we're at the same altitude and he's right. Where is he? He's off to my left. Oh, I just kept on just okay. You, you guys all you guys took off then? Where's this plane at though? Oh there he is right there. He's going behind me. So Dom took off too. What a Dom. One right behind me, same altitude. Alright, so we don't have center, we'll go to Unicom. Make our announcements on the way in. Calc shows less than two minutes. Okay, we'll put in there 240, then we'll descend via. Alright, there's our message. Let us know we're, we're approaching our top of descent. Let's go 2,000 feet a minute. See approaching top of descent. We've gone ahead and done that. And we'll just uh, descend here and keep an eye on their speed. Yeah, James, I, I did I did do that because I see I got the Riati XP, the GTN 750, and the GTN 650. So I've got both. Uh, they just don't let you install the 650. They don't have the bezel for the 650 for the Coronado. Uh, but you can do the, the GTN 750 and the GTN 650 
in the Learjet. You can have two of them. And that's how I have it set in the Learjet. I have the 750 and the 650 in there. Or you can do dual. You can have two 650s in the Learjet. There's 250 on the speed. We'll start bringing back the power a little bit here. And in the Learjet, of course, you know I use the GTN 7, 6, 750 for the navigation, and the GTN 650, I pr primarily use that as a backup, or I use it for the TCAS. Fourteen and nineteen it flows and we'll hit that at fifteen and then we'll keep it going down. And let's just bring up did I close it? No I didn't. Let's bring up Vatspy to see what kind of traffic we got going on. A lot of planes. There we are here, looks like we're behind a United. That traffic that was behind us was 36 was this guy right here, the 74. So we got a little bit of going in there. We're following the, uh, the United. Airspeed's looking good, we're 250 in a descent. Now we're going to do a little bit better here in San Fran than we did in Vegas. Vegas was a rough one. Was it 367? I slammed that thing down. I did. I pitched the nose down a little too much there and had to raise it back up the last minute and hit it. Didn't break anything, but still, that kind of sucked. Usually I'm, I'm below the 100s on this thing. So let's see if we can make an improvement. And there's traffic out here off to our right, but he's kind of far away. He's right here on the TCAS. It looks like he's coming right down this airway here. And he's at 30... Let's see, his altitude hasn't popped up yet. Let's see what happens. He's 1,500 feet above us, 1,600 feet, ain't no factor. Trying to see if he's going to pop up, we're going to see him or not. Let's see, who, who could that be? Oh, it's this American, and he's at 29. No factor. 3,000 feet above us almost. She get the light here, it shows a thousand feet. Which it didn't. We 
We have it set for 240. Uh, let's bring the speed back here, bring the power back. And at lane, then we'll start down. We'll get down to team between 10 and 12. So what I'll do, I'll go back in here and I'll go to the utilities. I'll hit the V calc and then I'll say uh, one zero thousand. And we'll do that at uh, 2,000 feet a minute. And we'll do that at seeds. And that's telling me to go down now. So what we'll do, also put in there one zero thousand. Altitude select. 2,000 feet a minute. And we'll keep this. We'll keep the descent going. Keep an eye on our speed, make sure we don't over speed. Make sure it says 10 to 12, 10 to 12. And we're looking for the visual runway 28 right. All right, let's do our outside view here because we're coming right over the Central Valley in Modesto Airport. Where is it? Where's Modesto? I know it's around here. We just flew over it. There it is right there. That's Modesto Airport right there. You used to descend on the Modesto 8 arrival and you come over the top of uh, Modesto Airport, but now that's always intersection. All right, we'll go ahead and pull up the San Francisco weather. Let's see what they got to say. Wind 030 at 3, 10 miles of visibility, few clouds at flight level 200, temperature 19, dew point 07, the altimeter 3007. that we're looking at 1018 on the Q and H. <laughs> 3007. So we'll set the Q and H here in just a second when we passed 18. There's 18. 3007 should be there. And it is. San Francisco track it. San Francisco traffic, Beige at 232, citation 550 is on the Diamond 5 arrival. Just approaching Flow's intersection for uh, visual approach runway 28 right, San Francisco. All right, there's the Bay Area. You can see the Bay. Seeds between 12 and 10. 
Looks like we're going to hit that no problem. Next one is 8,000. There's 250 on the speed. throw some lights on here. I'll get our recognition lights going so I don't forget them. Next one will be landing lights. You can see that I have them on. Kind of scoot out a little bit there. <coughs> and we'll be looking for the San Mateo Bridge in the airport. Might not have set up. Oh, I did the visual. Well, that's fine. We can. Um, we'll just put in there the ILS. No problem there. ILS two eight right. We'll take it from Archie. But we're planning on the visual. All right. There we are there, let's go down to, let's keep it going down the 8,000. San Francisco traffic, Bay Jet 232, aircraft type citation 550 is inbound San Francisco on the Diamond 5 arrival, just approaching Seeds intersection for the uh, visual approach 28 right. Any traffic in the area, please advise. There's scenery load, I gotta freeze. Excuse me. All right, look at that. 10,000 at seas. This thing just works perfectly. Next one's actually going to go all the way down to 7,000 at Archie now. We'll go down to 7,000 at Archie. So we'll just keep on the descent. Freely's at 8. That Unicom is supposed to be working. We'll see if it works. I thought it was supposed to be working. Unicom voice. That's <coughs> yeah, working. In San Francisco traffic, Bay Jet 232, aircraft type citation 550 is on the Diamond 5 arrival for uh, visual 28 right. Just uh, going to pass freely intersection for Archie. Any traffic uh, inbound to San Francisco, please advise. There we go, and I heard the FedEx. <coughs> Alright, 7,000.
San Francisco traffic, BJ 232 aircraft type citation 550s over your arching intersection for the visual runway 2A right, San Francisco and traffic in an area, please advise. Yeah, it is Orbex NorCal. All right, I'm going to go heading mode. Wait till we get established here. Okay, going to go heading mode now. And we're going to continue down to a right. What was the altitude? 4,000. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and start hand flying this bad boy now. I'm going to take it off autopilot. We're going to go visual since the weather's nice. <coughs> uh, there's a scenery load. There we go. San Francisco traffic, Bay Jet 232 is out of 6,300 for 4,000 visual 28 right San Francisco. San Mattel Bridge Airport is in sight. We should be about 1,800 feet at the San Mateo Bridge. San Francisco traffic, Bay Jet 232 is over Dumba intersection for visual 28 right. Any traffic in San Francisco, please advise. Bring it down to speed, continue the descent, flaps to one. Two ten on the speed. Okay, gears coming down. Speed brakes are armed. So we're looking outside here. Looking good. Next notch of flaps will come in over the bridge. Landing lights can go on. Should be about 1800 over the bridge. I can't wait till Orbit comes out with the uh, NorCal True Earth. 
They're going to release it first for X-Plane. Okay, next notch of flaps, there's 1800, we're over the bridge. Keep an eye on the airspeed. San Francisco traffic, Bay Jet 232, short final runway 28 right, any traffic in the area, please advise. Airspeed looks good, we got one more notch of flaps to go. We're going to kind of use a little bit of the runway up here since we got to kind of almost go down at the end. Kind of come over a little bit here to the right. Continue down. Last notch of flaps coming in. Runway 28 right is verified. Runway 28 right, we're clear to land. Speed's about 150, we just start bringing it back now. <coughs> we gotta do a better job here in San Fran than we did in Vegas. Five hundred. Five hundred's verified. Continuing. Hold it, hold it, there we go. Rush reversers coming out. All right, welcome to San Francisco, everybody. Flaps are coming up. Attention to uh, air, all aircraft, San Francisco traffic. Uh, citation 550 is exiting runway 28 right at Echo 2 uh, Signature. Oh, that was a perfect landing. 21 on that. Yeah, that's a lot better than what I did in Vegas. A lot better. Uh, I gotta fix these issues again. I forgot that uh, San Francisco updated the scenery. I've gotta go in there and uh, change some settings here to get rid of these extra buildings. Oh yeah, the Tito bro wasn't so hot either, was it? That was my own fault. I was looking over at emails and then trying to land and just I screwed that one up bad. Alright, I gotta fix the scenery when I get here. When I shut down. I forgot I updated it to the new version 3 of San Francisco. Ah, uh, thanks Finney, appreciate it buddy. Let's see if I see that traffic out there. I don't see him out there yet. Alright, let's get parked over here. I don't know if this is my last flight of the day or not. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I might control. But I'm going to take a small break here and have some lunch for sure. And I'm going to park this thing right here.
Alright, parking brake is set. We come in into the uh, cockpit here, we'll go down here and we'll turn off the uh, switches. We don't need pedostatic, anti-ice for all services could come off. Recognition, anti-conglitions can come off. Alright, Vinny, sounds like a plan, buddy. Enjoy that beer. Landing lights can come off. Anti-skid can come off. AC power can come off. We're just going to shut down the, the uh, bird completely here. We're going to go ahead and turn off the gins now. We don't need them on anymore. Uh, ignitions can go to normal. We'll come over to the throttles. We'll kill those. We'll bring this to the off position. This goes to normal. Bleed air comes off for the windshield. Air conditioning system's coming off. That is off. Uh, engine sink. I bet you I didn't turn that off on approach. I know that's one thing I did forget to do. And no, I didn't. That can go to off. We can come back over here and we can turn off. Actually, let me turn off the beacon light. We use 1,500 pounds of fuel, which is what we had flight plan. Avionic power switch can come off. Battery can come off. We can go to outside view and the door can come open. Nice. Traffic San Francisco, West 13130 heavy, on final, 28 left. You know what, I think, I'm sorry, they they were saying that they're releasing. When I updated um, IAD version 3, sorry about that. When I updated IAD version 3, it reset everything, so I got to go in there and run the installer uh, for uh, Flight Beam to correct the issues with the double buildings and whatnot. That's what I meant. I'm sorry, yeah. San Francisco just announced, or Flight Blame just announced version 3, so can't wait till that one comes out. But hey, thanks guys for uh, joining me on the flight. I greatly appreciate it. That was a great landing. I'll take that one and put that one in the books right now. Let's do that right now. I'll take that. Landing rate of 21. We'll complete that one. Boom. It's, it's done. It's in the books. It's in the books. All right, guys. You guys take care. I'll probably be back later on tonight. Don't know. We'll see what happens. But everybody take care. Have a good one. Happy Saturday. Peace. B-dubs out.